How you doing? So uh, today our topic is going to be being sick with T1D. So in my case, I was sick with the flu. So I, uh, first of all, I didn't even know I had the flu for two days. So I felt very weak and cold and a lot of stuff going on. But you know, like there was a lot of other issues with like you know the diabetes that was going on that. Like, I was not used to. Like, my insulin was not working properly. I would be at 250 all day for four days straight and with, like, no explanation. And uh, that brings us to our first thing. So, you're going to see, like, the Robitussin and the cough drops and all that stuff. And with me, I just immediately grab the cough drops. I'm like, all right, these are perfect. But that's not the case. You have to get like the sugar-free stuff, which doesn't immediately occur to you. And then you're taking like those cough drops like all day. And you realize, and for me, I just like saw that I was 250 for, I don't even understand why. And yeah, if you have to have like those uh, the Zycam tablets to help you get past cold sicker, uh, faster. Um, they just, those are also loaded with sugar. Also like the remedies you're supposed to avoid, like, um, like honey, uh, I mean honey like once a day, a little bit, like a teaspoon, isn't that bad, but you really want to avoid that stuff. Um, so the other thing is like your insulin, like you really can't stop taking insulin because like your body, although it's not gonna, it feels like it's not doing anything, that's probably better right here actually. Um, it feels like it's not doing anything. That's not the case. Um, your body's just a little bit more resistant to it. Mine, my, especially mine was, uh, I feel like I was injecting maybe like eight times a day and averaging at least like 30 units like over the course of five hours and it's just not, not doing anything. Um, so you really just wanna try to like make sure that your diet is the same as how it was before and your insulin intake is not changing although it seems like it's not hap like it's not doing anything it is you really want to avoid DK because all that sugary stuff that's going to help you feel better is going to end up making you go super high in the long run um, and just kind of make you feel worse oh okay this stuff diabetic tussin uh, Diabetic Tussin. I swear by this stuff. I will warn you, it tastes like crap. It tastes really bad. Really, really bad. It, it tastes like pure alcohol, but it's, there's no alcohol in it or sugar. Uh, relieves cough, sore throat, chest, conge ch chest congestion. Sugar and alcohol free, specifically formulated for diabetics. I mean, it's basically like your, your Robitussin uh, for, you know, with no sugar. It's not the best thing in the world, but it helps you get through a cold faster. Um, also, I guess uh, check your ketones um, often. It's going to help you out. So also to note, there are sugar-free cough drops out there. and. Uh, they're really good like they kind of avoid the menthol side I mean you can't get them with menthol it's just you know how do you make that taste um, but you know like if you get like a like a lemon flavor especially like the, the Ricola those are really good like you can just eat those all day I mean don't but you could if you wanted to they're not like super strong like you can tell that and you, you can't tell that there's there's no sugar but it's really good so some of the best things to eat when you're sick, or for me personally, is uh, Indian food. I love Indian food. So I got this uh, lamb findolo. Looks kind of beat up, but it's like the best food ever. And uh, and the naans. Got like two naans. So when we're calculating this in like carbs, the only thing you have to know about the the lamb and the the spice and stuff is that it's extremely low carb. There's like nothing in it. So that's a good thing. But 
The Nons are like loaded, loaded. So we're gonna have to compensate for like 120 carbs just for those two pieces of bread, which like make the dish. So you can't like ignore them or eat it without it because it's just kind of dry. Like they're they're the best part. So I'm gonna bottle this right now. All right. So I keep my needles in my jacket pocket. <sighs> All right. So oh, and to drink. Uh, if you haven't already started, start drinking Lacroix. It's like the it's like. If you're diabetic, you can appreciate something like this because it's tasty, it has no sugar in it, and it's it's just something you can always have that you don't really feel guilty for drinking. Um, I'm gonna count out, um, my ratio is like 1 to 25, so one, one, one unit of insulin every 25 carbs. We're gonna do like... Six carbs. Well, hold on. What am I doing? I'm at 159, so there's really no no corrections to be made as beside the food, so I'm gonna guess like I don't know. For for 120 carbs, I would probably have to say five units. That's probably safe. And then you know if you go higher you can just make a correction. No big deal. So, let's do the pretty part. I have a, a lily pen. I got it like as a specialty in the mail at the, the pharmacy. I don't really know what I got. So, and then we'll just do five. And I always pinch my skin a little bit they get the fat showing and surprisingly my left side doesn't hurt as much as my right all right so time to eat thank you time to eat time to eat <laughs>